Question 9. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3. Okay, here it is then. Um, smallest positive root is alpha. Find the next positive root. So because it's x over 3, this would be pi over 2 normally with the cosine function, wouldn't it? And this would be pi. But because it's x over 3, for that to be pi, this would need to be 3 pi. Ah, but this pi is there. So that would be 3 pi, wouldn't it? Sorry, that's cos pi is minus 1, but it's minus 2. And this would be 6 pi. That's better. So that's 6 pi. Okay, so if you put 6 pi in here, you end up cos 2 pi, which is back to 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. This value here is 2. And badly sketched, I'm afraid, but this value is supposed to be at minus 2. Okay, and this is plus 2. Right, okay, this is the cosine curve then here, sketched. Uh, when does it equal k? Well, here's the value of k. We're told the smallest positive root is alpha. The next positive root is over here, isn't it? And by symmetry, if that's alpha, this is going to be... Uh, distance here is going to be alpha. Using the symmetry of the curve. So this value is 6 pi minus alpha. That would be the next positive root. Okay, smallest positive root when that equals minus k. So let's draw it in then. Here, say. There we go. And here's the 3 pi line. So if that's alpha, this would be alpha as well, wouldn't it? This is the value of minus k. So here's the actual root when it's equal to minus k. That would be 3 pi minus alpha. So that equals 3 pi minus alpha. And I'll put the answers here in the notes because it's a long question. Sketch y equals a sine third x. So this is cos 2x over 3 goes through a complete process. So the sine will go through the complete up and down and down and up. There's the sine. It's the, this is the value 2, so it would be at 1, wouldn't it? So I'm going to draw it in a different colour. So if I mark off 1 here, say, and then minus 1, and then we can draw the sine curve, sine 3 over x, or sine x over 3. So when it's 6 pi, it's done, 6 pi would be sine 2 pi, it's done a full circle of the sine curve. So the sine curve will be up and down and down and up. So it's going to look like this. There's the sine curve. Sorry about the scale, top and bottom. This is 1, this is minus 1. That's sine x over 3, overlaid on the curve. Solve this equation then. Let's have a look at this. Uh, when does 2 cosine x over 3 equal sine x over 3? Well, that would be when tan, move this down, and we get tan x over 3, don't we? Equals 2. Uh, we're looking for solutions between for x between 0 and 2 pi, generally speaking. And then tan is positive, C-A-S-T, uh, here and here. So draw two lines, mark off alpha. So tan alpha then is equal to 2. Alpha is equal to shift tan 2. Okay, so x over 3 then will equal be pi plus tan to the minus 1, 2. And it will be just tan to the minus 1, 2, won't it? So that tells us what x is. It will be 3 pi 
plus tan to the minus 1 of 2 and 3 lots of tan to the minus 1 of 2. So to three significant figures is 3 times shift tan of 2. 3.32 or add 3 pi to that then, uh, plus 3 times pi, 12.7, and that's the three significant figures.